Hey, how's it going? Check out this super skinny little battle box that just came in the mail. Kind of wild. So this is the battle box for February 2023. So let's open this up and see what's inside this super slim edition. What's up guys, Eric here with At Home in the Future and I'm back with another Battlebox unboxing. So if you're unfamiliar with Battlebox and if you're watching this, you probably aren't, but anyway, uh, really cool survival and outdoor gear kind of box. Comes in four different flavors, going from the basic box all the way up to the Pro Plus. We do the Pro Plus in this channel because I like knives and the big stuff like that. Uh, but really fun subscription to get. If you're interested in this one, be sure to check out the link on the screen or down in the description. But like I said earlier, this is the February 2023 box. Strangely skinny. I've never got a battle box quite like this. I always kind of come in the big uh, white boxes. Sometimes it's pretty large too. So I'm curious to see what could be in this little skinny one. So let's pop it open and check it out. Let's see a few things, of course, right off the bat. And we'll start as we normally do with the mission brief here. So mission 96. Uh, oops, skipped ahead a little bit there. You normally get a little picture of the stuff, a rundown of everything you want to know about it, and then a listing of the products. Like I said, there's four different flavors, Basic Box, Advanced Pro, and Pro Plus. We'll go through all this, uh, seeing some cool stuff. Actually, some really interesting stuff this month, too. Okay, let's jump right in with the Basic Box. Let me fold this over so we got a better view of our stuff here. And we'll start things off with, looks like we have a space pin. I like space pins. Let's see, here we go. So we have, maybe a full size space pin. So it says we've got a uh, Cerakote finish with the OD green kind of look. These things are nuts, space pins in general. Now you can get space pin refills that fit just about any pin that you like. Uh, so you don't actually have to buy the pin itself. But these things are pretty rad. Obviously designed for space where you can write upside down, that's kind of the claim to fame, but you can write underwater, you can write like it says in extreme temperatures or at any angle. So I don't know how often you're hanging from a tree trying to write or jot down notes or anything, uh, but these are super great. Write in all conditions, write pretty well. Um, a lot of people pair them with the uh, Write in the Rain notebooks. So let's pop open the seal down here and see if we can get this little guy out of here and take a look at him. All right, so check this one out. Now normally they come in like almost a bullet shape where you can take the top off and slide it down. This seems like it's connected. I don't know if it's a twist. Okay, so this is just like your uh, click action pin. Kind of a, of a soft click. I wish it was a little bit more clicky and fidgety. Uh, but still really nice. Look at this really skinny little pocket clip here. It's neat that it's a Cerakote finish. I do like the OD green. But yeah, other than that, it's your typical space pin. Perfect for keeping your pocket really, really slim, which I definitely dig. Uh, but if you haven't had a space pin before, you're in for a treat. That's a lot of fun. I do like the bullet pins better. I like the ability to kind of compress it down and throw it in a fifth pocket in some jeans or throw it in some smaller EDC kits. But uh, this is my first time having a full one of these, a full size one. So cool. I do dig that OD green. So that is the first item in the basic box. Uh, next up from My Medic, right, which My Medic is one of those brands that I really haven't had anything from them that hasn't been like super awesome. We have these Z Zips or ZZ Ips or whatever. It's a two pack. Basically, what this is is like a high octane butterfly bandage. So when you're little, if you ever got the big cut, uh, you know, mom would go get the box of band aids and put them on and everything. They always had the little butterfly bandages that were like for the big nasty cuts that pulled apart. Um, really, you should probably be getting some stitches and stuff. This is like a makeshift stitch. Uh, so let's see if it says how to use these things. So yeah, it says these are a revolutionary alternative to traditional sutures and stitches, easy to use, has adjustable parts and pain-free application. So I wonder, you know, I bet probably not gonna be able to take a look at these without actually breaking the sterile seal on them. Well, maybe I can. Okay, so that's kind of wild. So it looks like you pop them on with the adhesive like actually on the arm or wherever the closure is. And then it almost has like little zip tie type pulls on here that you pull and will then kind of push the skin and close it together. So super cool and super useful and probably something you don't have in your first aid kit yet. You may have the, you know, the traditional butterfly bandage uh, or that sort of thing in there, but that's pretty interesting. It's one of those things, I wonder if my medic has a patent on that or maybe it's just, a take on something I'm not all that familiar with, but rad. So Z-Zips, a two pack from My Medic. Awesome to have in your kit. Uh, last thing up on our basic box this month is the Utiliclip 3. Um, and I feel like I've seen this, but I can't remember where. It seems like I've seen this on a production fixed blade knife. I feel like I've seen these recently. Uh, but if I understand right, these are a replacement for traditional clips you attach on to you know, whatever, the, whatever your sheath looks like there. But then you have this like super high-end clasp that'll actually grip onto everything. So instead of just sliding something into your pocket and trusting that, 
you slide it down, but you also kind of clamp down and get that extra security on there. But it looks like it comes with um, multiple little gaskets and screws and everything for adding it on uh, to whatever sheath you want to use. Let's see if it has any information about what kind of sheath it's compatible with. Yeah, it just says most, most of the clips you get on stuff really doesn't um, perform all that well. Or what I find more often is a lot of these uh, sheaths use clips that are just too big. Now this is still a pretty big clip, uh, but some of the, the big like tech lock style ones are a pretty large things that just draw a lot of attention to themselves. So this is interesting. What's cool, it's made in the USA. It says it has a ton of strength for actually holding it into your pocket. Uh, yeah, I'm excited. This is the kind of stuff I like to see in Battle Box because it's stuff that I uh, haven't really run across all that much before, but would love to try out and have an excuse to try out. So now I do. So cool. That is the basic box this month. That was the space pin, our Z zips, and a utility clip. So next up, Huh. Something I haven't seen before in the advanced box is an Everglow light tube from Climate. So what is this? So it looks like we have, is it like a new take on a lantern? It's an XL size. Let's pop open the zipper. Interesting. It is lightweight, I'll tell you that much. I've got goo on my hands from that clip. Okay, so like a vinyl tube. All right, so check this out. It, it looks like a really long vinyl inflatable tube with an LED light strip inside. Um, and I guess it may have a little bit of a reflective coating, but it looks like this thing lights up, has USB controls. Yeah, we got like a little controller built into it. Looks like you can dim it and everything too, which is nice. So I'm guessing you maybe attach this to a power bank and then light that thing up. It's cool, it's got a little elastic hanger built in there. That's actually pretty interesting. Huh, I'm fascinated by that. I wish I had a USB thing nearby to check it out. So you can kind of see what it looks like lit up here. You know what, I'll edit in a little clip of it blown up and lit up so you can take a look at it. But this thing looks pretty rad. 6,000 Kelvin bright white LEDs, has a dimmer switch, Hyphalon carabiner loop. Hyphalon, is that like a brand name or something? I'm not familiar with that. Huh, multiple magnet attach points. Okay, maybe that's what th these are. You can kind of see that there. Super interesting, and if you just want to roll it up, you can just roll it up and use it as a plain Jane lantern too. So that's actually super rad. This is a product I have no idea even existed or a product category I didn't even know existed. So well done on that battle box. So that is the item for this month's advanced box. All right, I'm excited to play with that. So the Pro Box, the Zippo Axe Saw. This is something that I am familiar with, um, and these are pretty cool. You know, it's funny too, everything in this box was so um, condensed down and flat. Even though this is a huge item, it lays pretty flat. And so I guess that's why they're able to ship this whole thing in this tiny, thin little package. Heavy duty. You know what? I wonder if these come in two different sizes, because I swear, um, I've received one of these before, but I swear it wasn't as big as this. Maybe it was. So you can get like the rundown of these bad boys in the back here. So it's, you got a full hatchet head here. This has the sheath, which doubles as a hand grip. So you can kind of see what the hacksaw part looks like when you set that up, but you can grab onto this sheath and use that to saw through stuff, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, and we got the blade stores inside the handle. So we can take this down and stow it down inside your ax handle. Uh, you've got a mallet on the back, which is interesting, uh, which they claim for tent stakes. It's weird how many products claim that like they're awesome for nailing tent stakes down. So I don't know how many products you need in your house to be able to do tent pegs with, but there you go. It says you can lever attention tension uh, to secure the blade however you want. So I haven't spent a whole lot of time with these. Um, I kind of have a go-to hatchet that I use around the fire pit. But the idea of having the hacksaw thing is super cool. Um, it's kind of a nice alternative to having both like a little Fisker's hatchet and also having to carry like a silky saw or something like that. It's kind of a, well, they claim it's like a three in one combo. It's really like a two in one because you got this hacksaw and the hatchet itself, unless you really want to go all out and think you're going to be hammering stuff like crazy with that mallet edge. But uh, super cool item, fun outdoors thing to have. If you have a fire pit, you may want one of these just to get in some fun in the backyard, um, messing with some down tree branches and stuff. Um, or even just as a safety precaution, keep it in the back of your truck and have it if you ever need to clear some debris out of the road. It's not going to be the fastest tool in the world, but it'll get the job done. So that is Zippo's Axe Saw. Fun, rad tool to get in the box. That's a pro item. And now, Pro Plus, looks like we have a pretty big fixed blade I saw. It's the Torio fixed blade. 
I'm not familiar with this. Taurus, don't they make handguns? It doesn't say much about it in the description here, but maybe they make knives as well. D2 steel, G10 scales, I like the sound of all that. The sheath looks cool. I wonder if that, you know what? I wonder if that utility clip would work with the sheath. It looked more like just a, like a button up leather sheath, but you never know. Let's pop the seal on this. All right, it's cool. Got a little bit of paperwork right there. We got our, haven't seen like tissue wrap around a knife before, that's kind of funny. Okay. A little silica packet there, and here we go. We got our sheath. I don't know if that's real leather or not. Actually, it smells pretty good. Maybe it is real leather. Okay, let's pop this open. All right. So we got some G10. The last few fixed blades I've received in some subscription boxes lately have just been covered in oil. This one has a little bit in the handle. It's not too bad, but check this thing out. Pretty cool drop point profile. Got nice comfortable handles there. A little bit of a choil there. Okay, it is a little greasy on the G10, a little slippery. And then we also have some jimping here in the back. Kind of rough jumpy too, a little bit sharp. Yeah, interesting blade shape, a little more belly up in the front. But yeah, that thing would be a lot of fun to have outside. Maybe a good bushcrafting companion, something to have in the woods. And the sheath here is nice too. Looks like we have a little belt loop. We have a way that you can uh, scout carry and stuff. Um, right under waist, which is nice. Huh. Yeah, again, when I think Taurus, if this is the same Taurus, I, I think, you know, pistols and stuff like that. I don't really think this. But overall, 9.25 inches four inch blade. Yeah, looking at the guide over here, it does say the sheath is full top grain leather, and this is a full tang knife too and everything. So really nice fixed blade there, just about the right size. I think for a fixed blade like this, especially for bushcrafting and stuff like that in the woods, four inches is just about the right size in my mind, unless you're going through like a jungle or just going ham, uh, cutting wood and doing things like that. But yeah, really dig this thing. So that is the Taurus Torero fixed blade, and that brings us to the end of Battlebox. Mission 96. Actually, guys, I think this is a really cool one. I said a few months ago that one of those previous boxes was one of my favorite boxes ever, but actually, I really dig this box, mostly because a lot of this stuff is things, besides the, the fire axe, which I'm familiar with, um, this has some items in it. I've just, they're new to me and kind of bringing new ideas into like being outside, which I really dig. So all in all, I have to admit, like I'm really fascinated with this, with this uh, climate glow lamp thing. What do they call it? The Everglow light tube, really fascinated by this. Um, yeah, cool kit, good first aid stuff there too. This utility clip, I've got a thing in the garage that this will go perfect on, so I'm excited about that. But yeah, that is Battlebox Mission 96, super cool one. If you wanna get this subscription for yourself, make sure you follow that link on the screen or down in the description and save yourself some money. Uh, but this is a great subscription to get. Battlebox typically never disappoints, so super cool month. That's it for this month's unboxing. As always, if you dug the video, be sure to hit the like button. It helps the channel out a ton. And subscribe if you want to see more unboxings and more cool outdoorsy EDC stuff like this. We'll see you next time.